Ah, oh, you're back. Well, welcome back, and let me give you an update on how the Z80 Playground is getting on in February 2021. So this is version 1.2 of the Z80 Playground, and um, I made this available on eBay a, a little while ago, about a month ago, and since then I've had about 15 or 16 people using one of these, and I've called those my early adopters, and they've been working their way through finding all the bugs for me so I can fix them. And the main thing that I've fixed up about it is the performance because i have to admit the performance was pretty dreadful about a month ago but the cpm performance now is very impressive probably i don't know like a hundred times better so as you may remember on one of my previous videos i started hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy and i had to talk over it for ages because it was taking so long to load uh, but now we're in that quickly so i think that's a little bit faster now what do you have to do here let me think oh yeah you have to get up don't you get up that's the way to do it and open curtains that's not the only thing that i've improved i've also fixed loads and loads of bugs so there were various bugs that were preventing all sorts of things from working properly in my cpm you couldn't erase files properly you couldn't open certain applications but i've worked through quite a few of those bugs now and i've been fixing them and i've put the source code all up on github so it's available in my cpm fat library on github uh, I haven't fixed all of the bugs, but I'm working my way through, and uh, as people report them, I try to fix them as soon as possible. So that now means that I've got a bunch of applications working. Uh, WordStar 4, which is actually probably about the most advanced word processing thing that ever existed on CPM. Uh, Turbo Pascal, which was a fantastic, well still is, a fantastic integrated development environment for making software on uh, Z80-based machines. Uh, BBC Basic, Microsoft Basic, various different text adventures and games, uh, High Tech C, lots and lots of stuff I've managed to get working on this board and um, it's been a, a lot of fun doing it. Some of the things that will never work on this board are the very, very low level CPM utilities to do with managing the disk that call the BIOS directly. That's because I've implemented CPM at the uh, BDOS level, not the BIOS level. Um, which has got its advantages and I think is well worthwhile. So the advantage mainly being that you can copy things off of your PC onto this uh, USB drive, put them in here and access them directly without having to import them into some kind of obscure CPM format. Um, but the downside being not full compatibility with all low-level CPM software. I do plan though, however, to build uh, a CPM classic which is BIOS level compatible but that's on the back burner for now. I'll do a video in the future on the difference between BIOS and BDOS implementations of CPM. Uh, I got to the problem of some of the other, well, I got to the bottom of problems with some of the other things. So uh, this CH376 module, um, this is the thing that allows you to connect the USB drive into the Z80 Playground. And it turns out that there are various different versions, version 2, version 3, version 4. And I've actually seen some version 1 and some version 5 of these modules. And the version talks is corresponding to the basically the operating system or firmware or whatever is inside this chip. It must be some sort of programmable chip. Um, version 1s are pretty much useless. Version 2s are only good for a 1 gigabyte maximum size pen drive and... Uh, version 3 and 4 can cope with at least a 4 gigabyte pen drive formatted as FAT. So uh, I can't control what the version numbers are because I just buy these. They turn up from uh, the Far East and they're various different versions. And all you can do is find out. You can't see from the outside of it. You can only see by talking to the module and asking it what version it is. So I can't do much about that. But all I can say is if you buy one of these and you get a version 2 module, then it's only good for a 1 gigabyte pen drive. But given that CPM, I mean, 64K is a lot of space for a CPM program, so one gigabyte is going to keep you busy for a while. So that's, that's got to the bottom of the problem with that thing. The other thing that I've had a, an issue with is the 16C550 chip. Some 16C550 chips support flow control and some don't. Again, there's no way to tell from the outside. They, they all say 16C550CN on them. Uh, you can only tell in software, and that's been a bit of a headache. Uh, so what I've decided to do on that is not worry too much about flow control and find perhaps another solution to doing flow control in the future. Now, I've created a forum on my website, 8bitstack.co.uk, 
for the early adopters, for people to come and ask questions about this and raise bug reports. I've put all the source code up on GitHub and I am doing regular updates and releases. So you can see we are currently on version, well, release 1.06G currently of the CPM implementation, but I'm sure that will continue to, that number will continue to rise as I bring out new bug releases. And if you've already bought a Z80 Playground and you're not on at least version 1.06G, I recommend you upgrade as soon as possible because versions that prior to that had lots of bugs in and were slow. Uh, my plan is to make more Z80 Playgrounds available soon on eBay. I'm just waiting for parts to be delivered. And I will announce on the 8-Bit Stack forum when I make those available and on videos on YouTube. And my plan is to make some fully built, uh, assembled and tested boards available like this one. The complete module, all you've got to do is plug it in. I'll also be making kits available of all the parts you need. just need to solder it together yourself. And I might make the PCB available separately if people are interested in that. So that's just a very quick update. Sorry, it's a little bit brief. Um, I'm going to make another video soon on some of the programming I've been doing on here, uh, Turbo Pascal programs and other bits and pieces. But until then, thanks for watching.